Hey, what's going on guys? Sean or Mustang09 bringing you a new video and today we are working on the truck again. We're back in my 2017 F250, also known as B17. And it's been a minute since we've worked on this. We've been building that Mustang, my Mustang in the garage with that turbo build, which is super exciting. I'll link the playlist of those videos up in the corner. Um, but yeah, so finally showing the truck some love because I got something new for me, which is uh, this iPhone 11 Pro Max. This thing is amazing. The camera on it is super sweet. But now I need an iPhone mount for my truck that will hold this. Currently I have the Skosh mount and we'll get into that a little bit later, but I don't think it's gonna work for this phone. Uh, so I went over to Built Right Industries. We put their rear seat release handle on the back of the back seat of my 2017 F250. And so got a dash mount from them. Then also went over to 67 Designs and picked up an iPhone mount, which is super sweet looking. I'm excited to show you guys what's in that box. And the other super cool thing is 67 Designs is actually located in Dallas. So they're just down the road from me, not too far. Always cool to support a local business. Before we get started on the install guys, there is something else I wanna show you. I had a company reach out to me recently. Let me set you guys down right here. All right, you're stable, cool. I had a company reach out, they're called Popov Leather, I believe is how you say it, it's P-O-P-O-V. And they were like, hey man, we saw your truck video where you showed your little maintenance log. I had a little moleskin book and it keeps all of my, my gas fill-ups, my mileages on my gas fill-ups, my oil change, tire rotation, any sort of wear and tear item and also any aftermarket parts I put on the truck. And then that way I have something to go back to when I know I put those on, I can refer to it and just say, hey, it's been 10,000 miles since I've had a tire rotation. I better go to Discount Tire and get my tires rotated real quick. Anyways, they saw that video, they saw my book and they're like, hey man, we got something a little nicer that we wanna send your way if you're willing to make a video for it. So they sent me this book. Let me open it up real quick. It comes in this package and there's a sticker in there. Sticker. And then here is that book. So it's leather bound. Uh, it's just kind of a cover for a notepad and it smells great. If you guys have ever smelled real leather, this stuff smells awesome. You open it up and you can get any sort of notepad you wanna put in here. I elected for the film notes one. It felt, I don't know, adventurous to me, so I should say. Um, and then it also has got a spot for your business cards. And so my plan is to use this with me when I go on business calls and stuff so that I can make notes uh, while I'm in the job. I like to take notes by writing them. I tend to remember the stuff about the job if I write it down more rather than just type it in my phone. Uh, it's, I don't know, I've always been that way. When I write it down, I remember stuff better. So I've got my business card, my wife's business card. She's a real estate agent. So uh, in my line of work, I'm in construction. It's always good to have some of her cards with me. But yeah, I want to shout out Popov Leather. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I can't wait to start using it on the job sites. And it smells amazing. Leather is awesome. Now's the time. Let's get these parts on the truck and let's go outside. As I mentioned before, guys, my previous phone setup was an iPhone 7 Plus. I just had it in this little cheap, I don't know what you'd call it, like a rubber little cheap case from Amazon. It worked great, so no complaints from me. But if you take that case off on the back, you will notice this little metal pad. That's for the Skosh mount. If I go over here and I just push it, boop, it clicks on really strong that way. But it also held up pretty good with the case on it. So if we put the case over here, it would also stick. And it works pretty good, but over rough bumps, it would slowly start to sag and droop, and then eventually it would just fall right off. So that raised some concern with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the new one I got, because this phone, I believe, is a whole ounce, maybe two heavier. Let me see, I, I did the weights. The iPhone 11 is 7.97, and the 7 Plus, is 6.6 .6 ounces. So it's it's significantly heavier and I just don't think the Skosh mount is gonna be strong enough to hold it uh, if I wanna keep the case on it. And you know, this one, it does tend to lean forward and, and move a little bit over rough bumps. You know, Super Duties, they have that rigid suspension. That's why I'm looking forward to the 67 Designs mount because I think it's gonna hold it pretty rock solid. So let's get to installing this. First things first, I need to peel this guy off. It's just on here with double-sided tape. And if there's any residue, I have some cleaning products that'll get all that off, no problem. So just peel this guy off slowly. Alrighty guys, for this install, you'll need a plastic pry tool, a small ratchet with a short extension and a seven millimeter socket, a skinny Phillips head screwdriver, a Sharpie, three eighths inch drill bit, 
7 30 seconds drill bit obviously a drill to drill those holes 3 8 inch wrench and a 3 30 seconds allen key so only a little bit of residue nothing uh some of my cleaning products can't just get that off with it'll be super easy so we will discard this guy which i'll pick that up later because i don't keep my truck dirty so i don't know why i threw it <laughs> anyways we have to pop this tray out right here this is where our built right industries little mount setup will go it's like a little molly mount so we need to get this guy popped up with the speaker cover removed there's two bolts back here we have to remove all right guys as you can see there we have two bolts back here so the front there's three pressure clips back here two uh seven millimeter bolts that you'll want to remove those bolts out will allow you to remove this and we have one clip underneath here Alrighty guys, with this out, you'll see this little rubber mat inside. We're not gonna reuse it with our Built Right Industries mount. Um, you might be able to if you wanna drill holes in it. I'm deciding not to. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and just put it somewhere for safekeeping for later in case I ever decide to take this mount out. I'll have it to put back in and obviously it'll cover up the holes that we're gonna drill in here. So with this out, we need to go over to the workbench. And by workbench, of course, I mean nothing other than the tailgate of my truck. In front of you is the Built Right Industries mount. This will go on the top part of our dash. Uh, first things first, we need to line this up and get our holes drilled for our dash piece. And then next we have our, this is our 67 Designs iPhone mount. So this little ball mount hill here will go on top of our Built Right Industries mount. This arm connects. Then the phone mount will connect to this and it swivels all different sorts of ways. This is a aluminum a billet aluminum machined piece and it's got a stretchy arm in it there so super high quality so first drill our holes and then get this thing mounted onto here Alrighty, guys so being the professional that i am our mount will go in here like this and there's a little room side to side now you can take the time to measure it if you will i'm going to eyeball it since the amount of room side to side is so minimal i think we can get this uh, once again, this is towards the windshield. This is towards you. So you want the mount facing towards you because that will be where the 67 Designs bracket goes for your phone holder. So we'll get this bad boy lined up in here. And I do have it pressed all the way against up here. So now that that's where I like it, I'm going to put a dot for that screw hole and a dot for that screw hole. That will be where we drill our first holes. First things first, we're gonna start out with a much smaller bit. This is a 1 8 inch, and we're gonna move our way up to a quarter inch bit. So we will uh, take our time here, and we will drill in to our truck. Yikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there's nothing on the backside we have to worry about. Those holes line up about here and here. Bingo, bingo, that one's in. Let's try this 7 16th and see how this one does. All right, with one done, we can use our hardware and just kind of check it. Hardware looks like it fits perfectly. So we'll do the same on the next hole. line up our, our mount, and our holes line up perfectly. Excellent. Alrighty, so I've set these two screws into place. I need something long that I can scratch that with. This one will fit. So there's a mark on that one. Cool, so now I have the markings where I like them. Double check that all of our holes line up. And they do, they look great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe all this down. You can see there's a little residue in there from just dust and debris and also the white stuff from the chalk 
from the drywall that was on my other drill bit. So wipe this down real quick and then we will mount this into place. Guys, I'm a bad, bad installer. Dead gummit. I should have looked at the instructions. I watched his YouTube video, so that made it easy, but they also include a drill template. They take all the guesswork out of it for you, man. You just cut that out and stick it in there and drill on the X's or the cross the crosshairs and you're good. Dang, why didn't I look at that before? Oh well, we got our holes lined up. They're perfect. If you guys don't notice that you have a drill template in yours, you can follow my procedure. Super easy, but uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> so we're moving on. With our holes drilled, we can now take our mount and mount the 67 Designs ball mount to this. We need to remember though that this mount sits in here like so with this to the front facing the driver. So we wanna put this on the driver's side where we can. There's three holes on the back we have to align with this little molly webbing that's on here. So let's get that done. This is just a little Allen key. We'll get that snug for right now so we can still move it around and get the other holes lined up. And those guys are in. So now this will mount in there with our hardware from Built Right Industries. So let's get this mounted up real quick. So make sure you guys leave a little space right here on this corner. That will allow you to run your screwdriver in there so that you can tighten this bracket down to your dash piece. And get this one on here and get a snug fit. And then we will go down and tighten everything once all of it is installed. This is a 3 8 inch nut right here using a 3 8 inch uh, wrench. And then obviously just a Phillips screwdriver. Now that they're all on, I'm gonna go through and tighten them all down really good. Make sure we're snug. We don't want any rattles or anything shaking around. And just like that guys, our mounts are on. They look so, so good. So let's get this thing thrown back in the truck, bolt it down, uh, put the speaker cover on, and we can go to install our phone mount. I'm excited. It's gonna look really good guys. Back in the truck, let's not forget to plug in our speaker up here. Super simple, click that on. We will set this back down and then get our screws in there and we can push down on the front. You'll hear those click right into place. I'll hold it steady for us to put those screws back in. Two screws. With that tightened down, we'll get our speaker cover. The slope goes towards the front, just like you see. Four pressure clips, and then there's this little guide plastic piece right there. So we will push this in until we hear the clicks. And that is reinstalled. Up next, guys, is the most exciting part of this install. This is our 67 Designs high gloss carbon fiber iPhone arm. This will go on this little ball mount here. This arm tightens down just like so get it up out of the way and then here's another look at that arm guys so that's mounted on it's super snug you can see it moving the whole dash so that's on there really good now we'll take our iPhone holder or any kind of phone holder uh, it goes pretty wide so I've already tested it it holds the iPhone 11 Pro Max perfectly we will loosen this clamp up here and install this piece And just like that, guys, our iPhone is in. It looks great, man. It doesn't interfere with the vent. I can still see my screen, and I have plenty of room back here to get to any buttons that I would need to touch. So from the driver's perspective, it looks great. It doesn't take up too much of the road. If I want to, I can even lower it some more so I can see more over the hood. But from my driver's position, which is about right here, everything looks great. I have a clear view of the road. I'm excited, man. This thing feels super strong. It actually wiggles this before it moves the mount. So super happy with it. Neighbor kid riding his dirt bike. But uh, yeah, man. That's gonna do it for this install video. I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Once again, these uh, products are not sponsored. I purchased these with my own money. There will be links in the description to all the products mentioned in this video, along with some of my specialty tools, like these little plastic pry bars. These things are amazing when working with plastic pieces inside of your truck. 
Thank you so much for watching. It's been Sean or Moose Thing 09, and we'll catch you boys back here next time. Take it easy. Peace.